Hi guys, and today it's time to pick the team to play Bristol City tomorrow, so let's get started. In goal, Anthony Patterson. The reason why I could obviously we can say the five goals on um, um on Monday against Blackburn. Um, I wouldn't say it was a fall for any, but what was frustrating, it did seem like episode that went at, was on target went in, what was a bit frustrating, but but yeah, normally it's fall and yeah, I guess so yeah. Right back to it, him the race mark because I thought first half um against Blackburn he didn't play well play well. Normally three of Hume's a solid and dependable right back. He was making mistakes, he was like he struggled big time. He did try and get four but now came off so but overall because he is such a dependable right back and that sort of shows with like some Premier League clubs and stuff after him. I would leave him in, so yeah. First centre back Luke Warner and the reason why because again he didn't have a good game and, that, and he was making mistakes left right and centre and um, didn't cover himself in glory for a few of the goals and I know there's some fa people out there who's not really Luke Warner fans but I'm sure even they'll admit he never normally makes that many mistakes than what he normally does if you get if if you get the main but given that I mean given he's an experienced head given that um, there's pretty much nobody else they'll have to go again so hopefully he can improve on that because on his day Luke Warner is really good he's so against Cardiff how good he can be it's frustrating when when people put performance in like that so yeah the next one Dan Ballard Ballard also had a tough game game against Blackburn and everything I was seeing that I think we won the best centre half in the league sort of made him look like one of the worst but again again I would keep him he's our best centre half and hopefully he can recover from that so yeah left back I would bring Adria Lacey in the race, Mike, because I think that there's got to be a change at left back. I've seen enough from Calvin Styles, one, to convince me he's not a left back, and two, not to sign him in the summer. With a Lacey, obviously, he's coming back from injury, um, he weren't on the bench against Blackburn, he played a game like um, for the under 23 in midweek. And I think if he, if he can play for an hour and like start the game and play for an hour, I think you do it if you get if you get get remain as he just is the best option like to play left back back until Danga Sergan come out. He's better than Helder, he's better than Styles. So yeah, at least until Sergan is back, he's our best left back. So yeah. First thing to make Chris Rigg the reason why because I will bring him back in. I'm sick of pay I wear from in total honesty. One good game in months since he came back from injury back in October is ridiculous of in total honesty. Rigg, he was probably the only like bright spark against them. Um, Blackburn ob obviously got scored a goal and Riggs being effective on the right as well. I will play him like centre midfielder because what people forget that that's Chris Riggs' preferred position. He's a centre midfielder, and and yeah, I'm I'm desperate to see him in his preferred position. Corey Evans suffered another setback, but the same. So apparently, he's nothing serious, and he'll be back training next week. But but yeah, I'll go for Chris Riggs. So yeah. The next one, Daniel. He didn't have a good game earlier against Blackburn. Um, the goal. Um, one of the goals was his fault fault because he lost the ball. He did also like um, um sort of create Chris Riggs' goal where he crossed it in like for the dark and then um dark um had to save off a goalkeeper Rick follows it in but 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 yeah he's our best midfielder and I trust him to have a better game and trust him to bounce back them more than what I do with Pay Aqua so yeah. Right when I'll go for Abdul the bar the race why because. Because um obviously he got dropped against um um Blackburn. I don't necessarily think it was a bad thing, but Roberts you could tell wasn't fully fit. Um also didn't um that's why he probably had a bad game. Mundell didn't do great either, so so I will bring him back back in, in as he was part of the team that um big card if he worked hard, stuff didn't come off for him but 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 yeah, also we play on the left against Cardiff. If you asked him would you rather play on the left or the right, I'm pretty sorry he would say he'd rather play on the right, so yeah. Then, number 10, I'll go out and chase the race mark because I did think he struggled against Blackburn from in total honesty. He didn't really get into the game when he did, didn't really do much anyway and obviously got taken off at 4-0, 4 but, but as the last few weeks have been positive and that has been probably one of the signing lights seeing like um, the last few weeks obviously scored um, and got an assist against Cardiff the game before, I would leave him in, in and show him a bit of confidence if you get them in, so yeah. Left wing, I'll bring Jack Clark back in the race. It was nice to see him on um, Monday, wasn't totally long. I didn't expect it, 
expect him. I was sort of expecting him to be back for this game if I'm in total honesty. I do think it was a bit stupid um, bringing him on at 4 0, given like he just came back from a long term injury. If you get what I mean, what do you expect him to do if you get what I mean? Being at 4 0 down. So, 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 yeah, he's going to leave in the summer. We all know that. But until then, he should start as he's Sunderland's best player. So, yeah. Then striker drew up the race mark because I didn't think he had a like um, a particularly good game against um, Blackburn. He was a nominous, but he's he's the best option as far as I'm concerned out of him, him, him Hermione, and Burstone. So yeah, they on the bench. I would have Nathan Bishop, Timothy Pembellia, Leo Helder, Callum Styles, Pat Roberts, Bradley Dark, P.R. Equa, Romeo Mundell, and Hermione. So yeah. So my score prediction, um, obviously both sides um, we've got now to play for, if you get I me, mean, both sides ain't going to go up or ain't going to go down. And you would expect a response after what happened like against Blackburn. Do I think we'll get enough of a response to win? No, I'll give us a 1-1 draw. If them had something to play for, I'll probably judge them, but I'll give us a 1-1 draw. I'll see a Jack Clark is going into return to the starting 11. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, view, comment, and see. Yeah.